Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, blue square A, B, C, D and this uh, rectangle uh, E, F, G, B put together as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, we get uh, this uh, yellow triangle uh, A, F, P and furthermore, uh, the area of this uh, blue square is uh, 80 centimeters square and this uh, side length uh, B, G is uh, 8 uh, centimeter and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow triangle uh, AFP. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% uh, true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our action uh, plan since we are interested in area of this uh, yellow triangle AFP. So therefore we must uh, calculate uh, its uh, side length uh, this one and uh, this one. Let me call uh, this side length uh, FP as uh, X and this uh, FA length uh, as Y. So therefore our task is to find the value of X uh, and find the value of Y as well. And here's our next step. Uh, we know the area of this uh, blue square is uh, 80. And now let's recall the area of a square formula, area equal to S square, where S uh, is the side length uh, of the square. So therefore we can write uh, S square equals to 80. Now let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on both the sides. And here square and square root is gone. So therefore S is going to be equal to and now let's focus uh, on the right hand side, uh, the square root of uh, 80. I have just copied it down and if we simplify that turns out to be 4 times the square root of 5. So therefore our side length uh, S turns out to be 4 times the square root of uh, 5. So therefore the side length uh, of this uh, blue square turns out to be 4 times the square root of 5. As you can see over here this side, this side, uh, this side and this side across the board. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AGB and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem uh, to calculate uh, this uh, side length uh, AG. And here's a Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and call the longest leg uh, as uh, C. I'm going to call this side A and this side uh, lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. A square, we don't know, plus uh, B square in our case is going to be 8 uh, square equal to C in our case is uh, 4 times uh, square root of 5 uh, whole uh, square. Let's go ahead and simplify A square plus uh, 64 equals to if we take a square of right hand side that's going to give us 80. Let's subtract uh, 64 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore, A square turns out to be 16. Let's uh, undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore, our A value turns out to be positive 4. And since our uh, A G length uh, is uh, A, so this turns out to be equal to 4 units. And here's our next step. Let's focus uh, on this uh, rectangle uh, EFGB. We know that this uh, side length uh, FG is going to be the sum of Y and 4. So that is going to be Y plus uh, 4. And if this uh, side uh, of this uh, rectangle is Y plus 4, then the, this side uh, EB is going to be Y plus uh, for as well. And here's our next step. Let's assume that alpha and beta are our complementary angles. In other words, the sum of these two angles, alpha plus beta must be equal to 90 degrees. So let's assume in this triangle AGB, if this angle is alpha, this is our 90 degree angle. So therefore, this angle is going to be beta. And we know that this uh, angle is 90 degrees, this angle is beta, so therefore uh, this angle uh, has got to be alpha and uh, therefore uh, this uh, angle uh, has got to be angle uh, beta. 
and we know that this uh, angle is 90 degrees so therefore uh, this angle is going to be our angle alpha and now we know that this angle is uh, 90 degrees and this angle uh, is uh, alpha so therefore uh, this uh, angle uh, has got to be angle uh, beta and finally we know that this angle is 90 degrees uh, so therefore uh, this angle uh, has got to be angle uh, alpha and here's our next step let's focus on these uh, two right triangles uh, b c e and uh, this other right triangle a g b and we can see that these uh, two triangles are uh, similar triangles according to angle uh, angular similarity theorem so therefore we are going to have a proportion in other words the ratio of this uh, y plus 4 and uh, 4 times uh, square root of 5 is going to be equal to the ratio of 4 times square root of 5 and uh, 8 so let me go ahead and write down uh, y plus uh, 4 divided by 4 times uh, square root of 5 equals to 4 times the square root of 5 divided by 8 now let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply so therefore we're going to have uh, 8y plus uh, 32 equals to 80 let's subtract 32 from both sides so we are going to have uh, 8y equals to 48 let's divide 8 uh, on uh, both uh, sides this and this is a uh, gone so therefore uh, our y value turns out to be 6 uh, centimeter so therefore our this uh, length uh, y turns out to be 6 uh, centimeter and here's our next step let's focus on these uh, two right triangles uh, a f p and this uh, right triangle a g b and we can see that these uh, two right triangles are uh, similar uh, triangles according to angle uh, angle similarity theorem so therefore we are going to have a proportion in other words uh, the ratio of uh, x and uh, 6 is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, 4 and uh, 8 so therefore let me go ahead and write down x divided by 6 uh, equals to 4 divided by 8 let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 6 uh, to isolate x and here uh, 6 and 6 is gone so therefore our x uh, is going to be equal to 3 centimeter so therefore our this uh, side length uh, x uh, turns out to be 3 centimeter and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, yellow triangle and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times uh, height and in our case our base is uh, 3 and our height is uh, 6 so therefore the area of this uh, yellow triangle is going to be a half uh, times uh, 3 times uh, 6 and if we simplify everything on the right hand side that is going to give us uh, 9 uh, centimeter square so thus the area of this uh, yellow triangle turns out to be 9 centimeter square thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye